everything will start working well for you again after doing this. So from the title of this video, I want to share with you today how to use natural things, how to use these items that I'm going to be sharing with you to wash your hands and your feet. If you are the type that you always experience bad luck, you always experience negativity, failure, disappointment and all that. Are you the type of person that will stay from Monday to Friday and nobody will favor you? Your business money will not come in and you are feeling all about all negativities around you. Let me tell you, you can use this thing to spice your life. You can use this thing to bright, to bring sweetness in your life. These things are very, very natural and very, very effective for our own use. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use these items to wash your feet and to wash your hair and wash out what is about to happen. Let me tell you, money will come to you. Blessing will come to you. Those that are forgotten you will remember you. You'll be a light that will shine in the darkness and darkness will never stop it. Yes, you heard me. So stay tuned while I share with you. I welcome you back to my channel on my page. Thank you for stopping by. How are you all doing? I hope fine. For me, the Lord is faithful. So guys, in case you are new, my name is Promise. Here I share more tips that helps in daily basis. And also share with you spiritual benefits of the natural things you have in your kitchen. Yeah. So after this video, you are going to be thanking God for seeing this video. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe or turn on the bell notification so you all to be notified whenever i upload a new video if you're a returning subscriber you are highly welcome today okay guys like i said in today's video i'm going to be sharing with us how to use natural things to spice our life how to use natural things to bring sweetness in our life all right but before i dive into this video i want to beg you please don't disregard any numbers you see in the comment section don't be scammed please okay now let's go now, in doing this, all you need is natural things that like I used to tell you. We are really blessed by God because everything that God created is for our own benefit. And let me tell you, anything that you can make use of, either in a physical aspect, satisfaction and all that, you can as well use it spiritually to help your life, to bring sweetness in your life, if only you know how to use it and also believe that it's going to work for you. Now, are you the type of person that you always lack money? Are you the type of person that people will promise you heaven and earth and nothing happens? Are you into business and others are selling you are not selling? Or are you the type that whenever you step into a place like all about bad luck, failure, disappointment. You will go to where people are receiving gifts. Before you get into the place, you will hear, oh, sorry, before you got in, the thing has finished. Are you the type that whenever you go, is always a long story, my dear? Do this and you will come back and thank God later. So in doing this item, number one item you are going to be using is salt. Yes, I'm going to be explaining to you these items, the spiritual benefit or significance of any of them so that you will understand what you want to do and how exactly to use it. Now, you need salt in doing this. Another thing you need in doing this is sugar. Yes, you heard me. And the final thing you'll be needing is honey. And after honey, you just need water. To do this you are about to wash out bad luck you're about to wash out negativities and failures out of your life now when good when can you do this you're going to be doing this every morning and every night yes first thing in the morning when you wake up and every night when you are about to sleep you just do this feet and hands watching just for seven days and see by the grace of god how things will start working well for you. Now, how do you do this? Or let me explain to you the significant or the spiritual benefits of any of this item. Number one, I'm going to start with salt. Do you know that salt, spiritually, salt stands for cleansing. You can as well use salt for spiritual cleansing. Even when things are not going well to you, you feel this heaviness, you feel this negativity, bad auras, my dear. You can get your salt, add it into water, and make prayer with it. Oh God, as I bet with this water, I cleanse myself from this negativity. I cleanse myself from these bad auras, and you see it working for you. All right. Salt is also stands for purification. All right. Salt destroy a lot of negative 
negative things. Maybe when you see something strange, when you put on salt to that, believe you me, that particular thing will be harmless. And salt has a lot of spiritual benefit. Now, what of sugar? You and I won't know what sugar is all about. Sugar is all about sweetness. When you bring something that is bitter and you added sugar, what do you think? That particular thing becomes sweet. So this is how it takes spiritually. When you are using sugar for any of this, you are trying to bring sweetness into that particular thing that you are doing. And what about honey? You know that honey is very, very powerful and very wonderful spiritual or physical creation or natural thing that helps in daily basis so if you don't have honey in your home you are really missing like i said honey is one of the things you must have in your home yes you heard me when you have your honey in your home it has a lot of benefit to your home i will share that in my next video i will share with you what honey does whenever it is in your home so these things are very edible and things that you have access to it all right all you need is faith and believe and talk to god and you see it working for you now how to do it now, any morning you get a bucket of water or a bowl of water that you can use to wash your hand and wash your leg. Now, put a pinch of salt, three table, like three pinch of salt inside. If you are using the countable one, just put three pieces of salt inside that bowl or inside a bucket. Okay. Now, add three pinch of sugar inside the water. Now, if you are using the cube one. Whenever you are using cube one for any spiritual assignment, you are using one because that signifies you, okay? But if it's not cube, just put three drops of it inside the same water. Now, another thing you need, again, is to get your honey. Put three tablespoons of honey inside the water. And what do you do? Use your right middle finger and be stirring this water as a praying. Talking to God, telling God that from today, as this water is full of sweetness, so shall your life attract sweet, sweet things. So shall your life attract abundance. So shall your life attract every good things of life. So, so shall your life attract good positive energy, good auras. Wherever you step on, you will be blessed. Wherever you step on, you will brighten everywhere. No matter how many people that is there, no matter thousands of people, your presence will be noticed, you will be acknowledged, you will be honored because you are you are light, you are bright, your brightness will you know overflowed everywhere. So you just after making this prayer, start washing your hand. Oh God, from today, I wash my hand with these sweet things. This my hand will never lack sweet things. In my business, in everything I do, if you have a particular need, if you have a particular challenge that you are going into, you begin to point out that there is also power in your words. Begin to talk to God, telling God that as you wash your head with this water, that this hand that you've washed with this water will never lack good things. It will never lack positive things. It will never lack good positive energy. After you're done washing your hand, put your two legs inside the same water. Begin to wash it again. Begin to talk to God and say, God, anywhere that my leg will step on, any places that I'm going to step on, that particular place will bring sweetness in my life. Even if there is bitterness, because my leg step into the place, everything will automatically change to sweetness. Bless your leg. Bless your palm. Bless your hands. Then after doing that, hold on. Allow this water, this sweet water, to dry in your body. Yes, you heard me. Now, when your water dry in your body, you can go ahead to do every other thing you want to do. At night again, before you sleep at night, when you are ready to sleep, get the same water, mix all these items, talk to God about it, depend on your choice and whatever you are doing it for. After that, just go back, just go to your bed and sleep. Continue this recipe for seven days. Yes, you heard me. For seven days. You will surely come back with your testimony. These natural things are very powerful. It's a blessing from God to us if you know how to use it. So try this one and I promise to share with you more ways or more spiritual benefits and health benefits of all these things. As you know that they all have their own health benefits and beauty benefits as well. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to share this video. Like it. And share it to many people to benefit. I love you all and stay blessed. Please, for the original honey, we really have it in stock, so you can place order if you cannot get the original one in your closet. See you in my next very one. I love you. Bye bye.